is passing as soon as they can pick up momentum on the backstretch. Teague seems to be trailing, but his number six is actually gaining a lap on another car. Herb Thomas at 92 is still crowding him close in a position to resume the lead if anything happens to his teammate. Matt Kirkwood passes Body Flock and whips the third place again with Lloyd Moore at number 59, a close fifth after four laps. Mike Claypack at number four, one-time fourth the class champion, is now sixth. from the start. Teague in sixth leads past the starting line, still followed by Thomas, Kirkwood, Flock, and Moore. This is a battle royal. Tommy Thompson gets the signal. He's running seventh. There's trouble in the pit. It's early in the race, too. Down the beach, Teague passes every straggler. These are stragglers, too, even though they might not look like it. Whizzing past terrific speed. But there's Teague at number six right after them. Teague likes the high road into the north turn. Look at there, another car's turning over. It's our friend Joey Ray. It's almost the same place that Purser upset in the first lap. That sand is rough and treacherous. This can happen to the best of them. Track officials rush to help Joey Ray, the movie stunt driver. The race goes on at high speed. Joey's out. He's not badly hurt, but he and his light car are out of the race. There he is in white. Seems fairly calm, too. The ruts off the beach are tremendous, even for those skillful drivers. Joey's car is turned back on her feet again, but no more racing for her today. Imagine hitting that turn in sand at 60 miles an hour. What happened to Tim Flock, the second Flock brother in this race? Well, here he is at 91, but this doesn't seem to be his day. This race is against the tide, too. It's coming in now across the wide beach. It's the eighth lap. Go, Dick! Certainly doesn't seem to be Tim Flock's day, just like we said. Here he comes into the pit. The youngest of the racing Flock is having motor trouble and is out of the running. Well, there goes Potty Flock in number 14, still in fourth place. Except for the wives, crewmen are the most anxious spectators of all, and not without reason. The sand has been too much for this fella, A.D. Yates, who started 12th. It's no wonder cars break down under this punishment. It's a wonder more don't as they come out of the south turn to reach the hard, smooth beach. But Marshall Teague just keeps rolling along. He's known this famous speed course ever since he was a boy, and he's wise to every trick the sand can play. That's not so with the rest, though. See what I mean? That fellow's lucky to get his mouth under control again. Teague never lets up, and he passes another. It looks easy when Teague does it, but this south turn from road to beach has spelled disaster for many a driver in former races. There goes one. That's really driving her. Number 22, that's Leon Sales, and he's been running well up there after starting 18th. Teague, he's mighty slow getting out. There he is. He's okay. Uh, but he's pretty excited. Other drivers, unaware of what has happened, speed on past into the treacherous sand leading to the beach. Herb Thomas at 92 bounces along, still running second. Some of the most expert drivers use this spot of all places to pass the laggard. Not that Pat Kirk would have 99 as a laggard. He's still running third. It's a beautiful and exciting day for cameraman photographing Marshall Teague's smooth technique in the hazardous north turn and shooting the skidding and careening of others who haven't mastered the perils of the sand. The crowd is keyed up here in the north turn. Look at that pass. It's a thrill to watch the smooth performances of these beautiful late model cars just off the factory assembly line. And folks, no special trick gadgets are allowed in these cars. You and I could do as well if we had the same courage and skill that we see in these drivers. Oh, look out there. Teague never seems to be in trouble. Still leading the pack with Herb Thomas in 92 not far behind. Pat Kirkwood manages to hang on to third place, but Body Flock at number 14 is pressing him hard. Up the beach goes a man in a hurry, and that's Marshall Teague, of course. Driving his number six, he's showing why he's been able to win four consecutive major NASCAR races and two grand national championships. Not even Marshall Teague is safe with Bonnie Flock around. 
Kirkwood at 99 knows that Flock is after him. So he's trying to get clear of the crowd and pick up speed when he hits the beach. There goes Flock at number 14, passing on the turn and gunning his car through the sand that leads to the beach where he can take out for Kirkwood. 